What is happening, ladies and gents? It's your boy Ed from TechSource. Welcome back to another vlog. It's been a minute. It's been a while since I've done a vlog. And honestly, I miss you guys. I miss grabbing the camera and just hanging out with you, kind of giving you an update on what's going on behind the scenes and taking a break from all the tech and setup content. So with that said, today I'm gonna give you guys a quick update on what's been happening here at the TechSource headquarters and what kind of content you can expect in the next few months. And update number one, we still have no sofa. Surprise, surprise. We moved in <laughs> December of 2021 and it is now the beginning of June with still no sofa. Um, but the good news is we have an update that they actually, uh, it arrived here at the States last week. So it should take another two to four weeks to arrive. I'm not holding my breath but it would be awesome to finally have a sofa in the beginning of July. So when I shot the house tour, uh, a lot of you guys were saying, Ed, there's no artwork in your house. It looks very bland. I, I know guys, I know. Okay, I made it clear that we literally just moved in. We're still doing a lot of work to our houses. So one of the main things we're missing in here is a little bit of personalization. So our walls are pretty much empty. So we're kind of slowly gathering artwork. As you can see over here in the corner, we have a picture of a sailboat that we're gonna be mounting over here. And we picked up three more artworks that we're gonna be scattering across the rooms in addition to our family portraits and family pictures that we're gonna be hanging everywhere else. So Everything takes time, but trust me guys, it's gonna feel more like a home than a house in the next few months. One new exciting development I do wanna share with you guys is that our custom closets have officially begun and they've been working on it for about three days now. And this is what we have so far for the master. So moving into the master bed, you guys are probably familiar with this room from the house tour. If not, I'll drop a link below if you guys wanna check out the full dedicated house tour. But we're obviously still missing the bed frame. We've been sleeping on the mattress for the past few months. I do wanna show you guys the master closet or the progress for the master closet. Check this out. So this is what they've done um, in the past three days. Two guys have been working about six or seven hours a day. Um, they've done a lot of work, to be honest. I'm very impressed with how fast they work. We got our shoe racks over here against the wall. We got some shelving units some hangers for our coats and shirts and pants and stuff. Uh, we got some drawers in the bottom, more storage space in the top, more shoe racks, literally 90% of this is for the wife. We got some more drawers over here and then finally uh, the wife's vanity over there. There's gonna be a giant mirror where that empty space on the wall is gonna be and there's gonna be kind of a uh, tabletop where she can do her makeup and stuff. But yeah, super, super excited to see how this is all gonna turn out once it's complete. Oh, I forgot about the island. There's gonna be a little island where the uh, the tape outline is with more um, drawers and stuff. But yeah, once they're done here, they're gonna move on to the smaller closet and then they're gonna make their way down to the garages. So super excited. Do you guys remember that tiny room over there in the corner where I used to shoot my videos and I told you that's temporary until I can move downstairs to the actual YouTube studio? Well, I've finally done it. So this room is now officially Shayla's dedicated playroom. I did keep the rug in here just because I thought it looks nice, um, but she does have her own dedicated play area and there's a little camera over here where we can keep an eye on her at all times. I honestly thought she was here playing with her toys. I wanted to show you guys, but I guess the wife moved her downstairs. So um, yeah, let's go say hi to her because I know some of you guys uh, missed her. It's probably snack time and she is downstairs watching her favorite shows while eating some snacks. So let's see where she is. Shayla, there she is. There she is, enjoying her snacks. Hello, Shayla. Oh my God, you're watching Coco Melon again? Aren't you tired of the show? Hi, baby girl. Everybody wanted to see you. What you eating? Cheerios. That looks so delicious, oh my goodness. Can I have some? Can daddy have some? Bruh. You're not giving me anything, girl. <laughs> Can you give me one Cheerio? Give daddy one Cheerio? No, you just wanna eat it? Remember, sharing is caring, Shayla. You wanna give daddy one Cheerio? No, okay, I'll take your hand instead. Anyways, yeah, she's, um. She's very distracted, apparently. So do you guys remember that one little series I started, the ultimate dream setup, a couple months ago? Look at this dude. 
Yeah, me neither. Well, I think I owe it to you guys to give you an update on what's going on. And there's an actual serious reason why this series has been on, on hold. And I'll show you guys. So let me show you guys the current state of the setup and then we can kind of transition over and tell you what is taking so long. Uh, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. It's literally the same thing since episode two. Please ignore this nasty coffee stain on the mouse pad. This is gonna be replaced with my new size pads that came out, which by the way, we have four new designs in case you missed it for season six. Check it out, dealsource.txmas slash store. Click the link below. You know I gotta plug it. But yeah, the reason why I haven't done anything is because of the PC. That is the main thing that's holding this entire series um, back. I can't install the headboard until I mount the PC because we're gonna be routing the cables through that hole and out the bottom hole through the backboard. That has to be mounted first before we can continue on. And the reason why we haven't finished the PC is because of this. And I'll show you guys what's going on. I guess since we're going to the YouTube studio, let me give you guys an update on what's going on with our backyard. As you can see, we have quite some work done already. Can I, can I make this jump? Hold up. <laughs> I don't know why I'm attempting this. I'm gonna kill myself. I don't know why I'm trying to... You know what? YOLO. All right. I made it. So about three months ago, they came and they dug a massive hole and then they put some, uh, some wooden frames all around it. And a couple weeks later, they came back and they did the steel frames. And then two weeks after that, they came and poured the shotcrete. And that's where we are currently in terms of the progress. We have sprinkler systems installed temporarily all around the parameter. It turns on every hour, I think, just to wet the, uh, the cement or shotcrete, whatever material this is called, so it gets hardened. Uh, so it gets nice and hard. They have to do that for a full month before they can come and um, do the cupping, coping. I'm, I'm sorry guys, I have no idea what terminology they use, but let me give you guys a quick update on what exactly they're building. So this is the spa area. As you can see, it's quite large. It can fit up to 12 people. My thought was, you know, we can do a pool and use up all this space and maybe swim in it like five times a year, which, which is what we did in our last house, which I think was a complete waste of money and time and space. So I thought, why not just do a giant spa this time? We're gonna use that a lot more and we can use the other half of the space and build a really nice recessed fire pit. So this is gonna be an infinity spa, by the way, and the water is gonna be spilling on all four sides. It's gonna spill over here, out the sides, and over here is going to be the fire pit. We got three benches. It's a very large fire pit. It can fit, I think, up to 12 people. So four people on each side. We got a nice, little uh, bonfire area in the middle where we can do s'mores and these rods over here will be bent over to create the bridge going across this really cool water feature so you can see these little things over here popping out from the ground these are going to be tiny little uh, waterfall features so we got about four of them going across this canal which i think is going to be pretty cool so yeah, that is where we are at currently. They're gonna be here, I think, the end of this week to talk about the next phase. So we're gonna start installing like the tiles and I think they're gonna do the flooring for the spa. So some, some super cool, exciting stuff. I do wanna show you some other things. Okay, that Bruh. was dangerous. Uh, we have also done some work over here. So this entire area over here is gonna be our outdoor kitchen slash barbecue area. We're gonna have a nice patio going with an island and an outdoor kitchen on that side. But in order to do that and take advantage of all this extra space, we had to move our AC units. If you guys remember, we had two units, one over here, one over here on the left side, and they recently moved it to the side of the building. Let me show you. So here is our first AC unit, our second AC unit, and then we have a condenser, which is our own dedicated AC unit for my uh, my office, AKA the YouTube studio, which I'm gonna show you guys right now what I have done to it. So before we get into the YouTube studio, I wanna show off this cool feature where I can lift up the shades using my smartphone. They did come and install it correctly this time, I think after the fourth attempt. So we finally have shades for the YouTube studio. So we'll get some light in there. Uh, we can come inside and show you guys what I have done so far. It's still a work in progress, but definitely a huge, huge improvement over last time. 
So right over here, the entrance is where the remote is for the AC, although I do have it hooked up to my smartphone as well, so I can kind of turn it on and have this place cool down, maybe like 15, 20 minutes before I step in it to shoot my video, so it's nice and cool. So I'm gonna turn this on right now, just because it's really hot out right now. And this is my current setup right now. Uh, that's where I stand, obviously, you can tell by the uh, two RGB tubes. My camera sits on this tripod and that's where I shoot my videos. I know the wall is bland right now, guys, but trust me, I ordered some really cool custom stuff that's coming in the next few weeks. The wall is gonna look really nice and it's gonna have a really nice backdrop for the, for the videos. So over here on the left side is where I'm temporarily storing the boxes that I'm gonna be opening up for the next unboxing video, minus the PC parts, which I recently just used for a, uh, a PC build not too long ago on the channel. But we do have a bunch more boxes in the garage, so it's gonna be about maybe 25 or 30 or so boxes for the next video, which is coming up really soon. I do wanna show you guys my cool little workstation corner over here. Uh, it's still not complete. We're actually gonna be doing a lot more work to this, in this later in this video. Uh, but I picked up four tiny pegboards and I hooked them up together to make a giant pegboard And I got my tools over here on the top right Which is super convenient if I'm building a PC or if I'm doing work around the house I can just come here and easily grab whichever tool I need instead of going through the toolbox For a couple minutes trying to figure out where the hell the tools are and then I got my trays in the middle um, Again, all this is kind of designed for convenience and easy access I can clearly see which feedings are in the trays So if I'm doing a water cool build I know exactly which tray to go to and pick up the fitting I need to complete my water cool build So right now it's mostly white fittings. I haven't organized the black ones just yet um, And then down here is where the charging station is going to be uh, And that's what we're going to be working on today all right guys, so now it's time for me to show you and tell you what the hell is going on with Big Red version 4, which is hiding right now underneath those blankets. So here is the current progress. And honestly, everything is already done. Which way is it? It's this way. So this is the current state of Big Red version 4. And I know it looks like a mess. That's because it's taken apart, but it's 99% complete, believe it or not. I took apart the power supply. I painted the fan grills. I painted the fan inside the power supply. I ordered the custom cables have arrived as well. And the tube runs are complete. The tube runs are so freaking clean. Um, I disconnected them temporarily, but they are pretty much done. And I still have to take out the uh, stickers from the fans, but overall the build is pretty much done. The only thing I've been waiting for for two months are these freaking things over here. The silicone inserts for the distro plates. These unfortunately do not exist in the States. I have to order them. Apparently they're coming from China, but honestly it feels like they're coming from Mars because I waited two freaking, two and a half months for these to arrive. The original ones that came in were the wrong size and the wrong material, so I couldn't use those. Um, but these ones, the two millimeter uh, silicone inserts or gaskets, I guess, is the correct size for these digital plates. And this is what's going to prevent the digital plates from leaking, so obviously I couldn't continue on with the build without these damn things. So now that I have them, I can finally continue on the build and I can resume the ultimate dream setup. So hopefully that answered uh, some of your questions out there. And for those who are constantly asking me every single day in the comment section, what the hell is going on with those videos? Now you know. So back to the workstation setup. So I ordered this custom shelf from Etsy in the exact dimensions I want, but the problem, as you can see, it's slanting. It is not going to be sturdy enough to hold all my chargers and batteries. So I'm gonna to have to actually install some uh, some L brackets underneath it. So these are the brackets I picked up from Amazon. It comes in a set of four, but honestly, I think I just need two of these. They're nice and sturdy, nice and thick. I'm gonna hook up one of them against the stud and then the other one on the opposite side so it's nice and symmetrical. And I think they come, yeah, they came with some screws as well. You wanna help daddy? Daddy's working. Oh, you want the microphone again? I'll play with you in a bit, baby girl. You wanna let him, I'll, I'll get you a microphone. How about this? I'll get you another microphone so you can play with it. There we go. Oh my God, Shayla. Stop playing with the camera, girl. <laughs> Jesus Christ.
There we go. Look at that. Two beautiful L brackets. We're not going with a triangle bracket, obviously, because we don't need that extra support in the middle since we're, we're just holding up a wall shell with a few chargers. All right, there you go. We got that perfect 90 degree angle, just what I wanted. And it's nice and sturdy, it's not moving. Not one bit. What do you think, Shayla? Did you do a good job? High five. Good girl. Yeah. Look at her, she's trying to escape. She's trying to escape. I'm sorry, baby girl, you're stuck here until mommy wakes up. She's taking a nap. Okay. I know daddy's office is boring, but you're stuck here until mommy's awake. Just another 30 minutes, okay? Get off daddy's shoes. Wait, why are you squishing my shoes? All right, so now that the shelf is installed, um, I'm gonna hook up the chargers on there later. I wanna take this time to kind of reorganize the pegboard. It's not, it doesn't look too appealing to me. By now the trays are all over the place. It doesn't have a nice symmetrical design. So um, I did order a few extra stuff. I did order some trays from Amazon, four different sizes. This is great if I wanna store like um, spray cans or just miscellaneous items that don't normally fit in a regular tray. And then I have a toilet paper roll as well and some additional trays. We've got some small ones and some large ones that we will be adding to the pegboard. All right guys, so here is what we have so far. I think it looks a lot better than before. Things are more organized. We have all the trays on the bottom here centered nicely with the smaller trays on the top and then the larger trays on the bottom. We do have two empty spots over there in the corner. So I ordered two more trays to come in and then I kind of took advantage of that extra space on the bottom. Instead of putting larger trays, I put in these, um, these cup holders, which is, very convenient for longer, thinner objects like pens and markers and uh, knives and stuff. So the bottom area is pretty much completed. We do have a tray over here holding up all the batteries. These, these are all the batteries that are currently charged and ready to go. And then we have our charging dock or station on the bottom. So we have the smaller batteries for my DSLR and the larger batteries for like the lights and the monitors. So I'm gonna be working on the cable management over here. Obviously this does not look clean. so. I'm gonna use some cable clips to route these alongside the wall and underneath the, um, the shelf so it looks a lot nicer. And everything is gonna be plugged into this power strip. And I'm gonna hook this up on the bottom of the shelf so everything gets plugged in neatly on the power strip. And then we just have one cable going down and into the outlet on the bottom. All right. Did my best to kind of run the cables alongside the shelf and the pegboard and through the bottom and into the power strip on the bottom. So from a distance, it actually looks fairly clean. I might get a cable raceway for this one long power strip cable, just so the cable path is a lot cleaner and you know straight down. But overall, definitely loving the way this entire workstation area came out. All right, so now that the uh, workstation corner is complete, there's still a lot more work that needs to be done in the studio. It's, it's still a mess. As you can see, we still have a crap ton of uh, items on the floor. The lights are actually taking up a lot of space here in the studio. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount these on the ceiling. So it's gonna clear up a lot of space on the floor to kind of easily move around it. And on top of that, we're gonna be sound treating this room properly. So I ordered a bunch of acoustic panels from GIK Acoustics. They're coming in next week. We're gonna be adding some panels on the ceiling, on the walls, all around to really just make the audio sound very crisp for you guys and prevent a lot of echo and reverb, which is still currently present while I'm making my videos. So yeah, guys, everything is coming together very slowly. I would say probably another month max until we are up and running 100% here at the YouTube studio. But more importantly, I wanna ask you guys if this type of content is, is interesting 
to you. If so, let me know by either dropping a like or let me know in the comment section if you want me to continue vlogging on what's going on around the house and what type of upgrades or modifications that I do to the YouTube studio. If not, I'll go back to doing just a regular setup and tech content for you guys. But either way, do let me know in the comment section. Speaking of the devil, we just got a notification from Ring that we got some packages dropped off in uh, front doorstep. So let's see what we got. Yo, we got a care package from Asus. Couple other new monitors. 27 inch, 270 hertz gaming monitor, 1440p. Oh, this one's an ultra wide. This is a 30 inch, I believe, 220 hertz, 2560 by 1440p, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, what else we got? Couple more Asus boxes. And then this thing, which is what I've been waiting for for over a month now. My acoustic panels from GIK Acoustics, you guys. I can finally sound treat by YouTube Studio. I think we're waiting on one more box to arrive, but at least I can get started with this and kind of um, sound treat the studio and improve the audio quality for my next video in the meantime. But yeah, guys, this over here is actually going in the next setup makeover season eight. This is for a subscriber. He does not know I'm actually gonna be surprising him with a brand new setup. He doesn't even know I'm gonna be showing up at his house. I've been talking with the parents and we're planning it in a way where he's gonna be out to school and I'm gonna sneak in the house and then build the setup and then surprise him when he gets back from school. So it's gonna be a very, very awesome uh, season. I'm not even exaggerating when I say that this is gonna be the best setup makeover season yet on the channel, you guys. You thought the Pokemon setup makeover is awesome? You have no idea what's coming. That is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> That's all the teasers I'm gonna give you, unless I do another vlog and you guys will probably see some behind the scenes and stuff. But yeah, with that said, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm gonna go get some work done, I have some meetings I need to attend to, and pump some content out for you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love your beautiful faces, and I'll see you very soon in the next one.